All right, let's be honest. This thing is probably due in less than an hour, and you procrastinated to the last minute. I feel you. So let's jump right into it. A little birdie told me it's not 1995 anymore, so the most common thing you're citing is probably a website. Let's hop into the format for that one. So you can see first, I put the author's name, and you put the last name followed by a comma, and then their first and middle initials separated by periods. If you can't get a middle initial, that's fine. You just put the information you have. So you can see in parentheses, you're going to put the publication date. That's year, comma, month, and then date. Follow that with a period. Next, in italic font, you're going to put the title of the web page, and you only capitalize the first letter or any proper nouns. Follow that with a period, and then you put the name of the website, and here you're going to capitalize it just like it's capitalized in the name of the website. Follow that with a period, and then you're going to paste this specific page's URL after that. And that's the basic format. So next we'll hop over to the Webernets and find a real article that we can cite. So here's an article by someone named Christian Eilers that has a publication date down below. And you can see it's called, What Should I Major In? How to Choose a Major in Nine Steps. As if it's that easy. And here's the URL, so this is what you'll actually copy and put in the document. And you can see this is on a website called Zeti. I think that's how you pronounce it. So let's take a look in the Word document how we would cite this. So you can see I've put his last name, Eilers, followed by a comma and a C and a period. I've got the publication date following the format we need here in parentheses. And here I've got in italic font the title of the article. And you can see that it's capitalized different than it was on the website. Um, it's all, you know, sentence case. So capitalize the first letter of each sentence and any proper nouns. I followed that with a period, and then I put Zeti, the name of the website, also followed by a period, and then you can see I pasted in the URL. And you do want these URLs to be clickable in an APA paper unless your teacher or professor requests otherwise. All right, the next most common thing you'll cite is probably a book, so let's take a look at that. You can see it's following a similar format, so I've got last name followed by a comma, first and middle initials separated by periods. After that, you're going to put the year in parentheses that the book was published, you'll follow that with a period, and then you'll put the title of the book in italic font, and here again you can see I'm using sentence casing for capitalization, so it's the first word of each sentence, uh, any proper nouns get capitalized, and then the first uh, sentence after you know a question mark, a colon, a period. And I follow the title of the book with a period, and then I put the publisher name and follow that with a period. So now let's take a look at a real example. All right, so this is a great book. It's by Tim Ferriss. If you haven't read it, you should probably read it. Uh, but you can see the author's name is there. We've got this super long title here. And if I scroll down here to the product details on Amazon, you can see that uh, this includes the publication date and the publisher. Cool, now you can see that book is cited here on my references page. I've got Tim Ferriss, so Ferriss comma T period. In parentheses, I have the year that this book was published, uh, and I have the title of the book in italic font, and you can see it's not following the same capitalization that's used in the, in the book title. It's using sentence case. And I follow the book title with a period, and then I put the publisher name, and I follow that with a period as well. All right, let's be real. Your professor said you had to cite at least one academic journal article. You can see here it follows the same format, so you have last name, comma, first initial, period, middle initial, period. In parentheses, you've got the year of publication, and you follow that with a period, and then you'll put the title of the article in sentence case again. And then in italic font, you're going to put the title of the publication, followed by a comma, and put the volume number, and then get rid of italic font, and in parentheses, you can put the issue if it's there, Follow that with a comma and put page numbers. Follow that with a period and then you're going to put either the DOI or the URL. If you don't know what that is, I'll show you a real example here. All right, so for the purposes of this video, I found the raddest article I could. It's about the economic behavior of monkeys. Who knew that was a thing? So you can see here it has multiple authors. So we're going to cite all of them. I guess everyone wants their credit. According to the 7th edition of APA, you cite up to 20 authors. And if you remember earlier, I talked about citing either the DOI or the URL. Right here is the DOI, and you're actually going to put that in the paper as a URL so that your professor or teacher can just click it. Um, so to do that, you can right-click this, 
and just say copy link address. Now if the database you're using doesn't offer that, you can always try to find the original source of the article and you can get it from there. Um, and if it's not there, you can type that DOI in at doi.org and find it pretty easily. And if all else fails, you can always just copy the web URL from your browser. Now you can also see this one was published in Frontiers in Psychology. Um, and I'm assuming it was published in 2014 and the volume is 5. I actually verified that by clicking into the original source. Now you can see back in my document I've got the name of each of those uh, authors listed here. It's following that format of last name, comma, first initial, period, middle initial period. I only had a middle initial for one of the authors on this one. After the authors, in parentheses, I have the year of publication, followed by a period, and then I have the title of the paper. Um, it's using sentence casing, and it is not italic. And you can see after the period, I have the name of the publication in italic font, followed by the volume number. Now, this didn't have a version, and it didn't have page numbers for me, so I just stopped it there, and I put a period. And then I've pasted in the DOI address here. Another common thing you might want to cite is a YouTube video, so we're going to take a look at that. Again, you have last name, comma, first and middle initial separated by periods. And then in brackets, you're going to put the username or the channel name. And then in parentheses, you'll put the publication date, which is in the year, comma, month, date format. Follow that with a period. And then in sentence case, using italic font, you'll put the title of the video. And then back to non-italic, you'll put video in brackets, which is just the format of this source. And after the period, you're going to put the streaming service, which is just YouTube in this case, followed by a period, and then the URL of the video. All right, and here's a real world example on YouTube. And if you scroll down below video, you can see the channel name, which in this case is Vsauce. A quick Google search tells me that the creator's name is Michael Stevens. And you can see I've got everything I need. So I've got the title of the video, I've got a publication date here. And if I sneak up to the top of the browser, I can copy that URL. All right, so back in our paper here, you can see I plugged in the creator's name using our same format from earlier, followed with a period. And then I put the channel name in brackets, followed with the period. In parentheses here, I have the publication date for the video, followed by a period. In italic font, I have the title of the video. And then in brackets, I put video, which is just the format. Follow that with a period, and then you put the streaming service, which is YouTube, followed by a period, and then the URL. So another common source might be a film, and for that we're actually going to cite the director instead of the author. So you put last name, comma, first and middle initials separated by periods, and then in parentheses you're going to put their title, which is director, follow that with a period, and then put the year the film came out in parentheses. End it with a period and then put the title of the film in italic font and then get rid of italic and inside brackets put film, which is just the format. Follow that with a period and then put the production company in a period. All right, so for a real example, we're going to take a look at Talladega Nights, The Ballad of Ricky Bobby, because why wouldn't you cite that in an academic paper, right? You can see on IMDb, I've got the director, basically all the information I need, but I've got the director's name there. And then down below, I'm going to have things like when the movie came out and who the production company was. All right, now I've got it plugged in back in my paper. So I've got the director's name following our same format. And in parentheses, I have his title, which is director, followed by a period. And another set of parentheses, I have the publication date, followed by a period. And then I have the title of the movie in italic font. This isn't using the same capitalization as the movie itself. It's using sentence capitalization. Uh, as we do with all of our sources. And then I get rid of italic font and I've got film in brackets here, followed by a period, and then I have Columbia Pictures, followed by another period. The last thing you need to do with your references list is alphabetize it. So you can just highlight each one of them and then come up to this sort button up here and click that and make sure it's sorting by paragraphs and in ascending order, and then just click OK. And then you'll see that your sources are in alphabetical order. All right, and that should be it. Now you should have your references all cited and you should have them in the right order. Uh, thank you so much for watching. I hope you found this video useful. Please be sure to share it if you've got friends who could use it. 
and uh, like, comment, subscribe, all that fun stuff. It helps keep this channel alive.